What's up, everyone? John Matrix here for another episode of John Matrix Talks Movies. Today, we're going to go over the credits on Rotten Tomato judging Captain Marvel. And let's get right into it right now. If you look here, you can actually see that the credits gave this an 83 on a tomato meter. Now, if you look even closer here, the top credits have it at a 65. Now, the tomato meter, it, it doesn't really, a movie doesn't have to really be great to get a fresh rating on the tomato meter. It only needs to get a 60 on a tomato meter to be fresh. But the this is kind of concerning here. The top credits really only gave it a 65 and it has 83 overall. And based on the the reviews for this movie that I've been looking at on YouTube and everything like that. This is a good movie, not great whatsoever. I think a lot of people think this movie is just a good movie. Nothing special at all. It isn't special in the way that it seems to build up has been in this movie. And actually, if you listen to like uh, John, Ca John Campia's review on this movie, he gave this movie a not so good recommendation. He thought it was okay. He said he wouldn't even put this movie in his top eight to 10 MCU movies. Chris Duckman, he gave the movie a C. The person that actually liked it the best was actually Christian Harloff and even his rating wasn't too great. He gave it a 3.75 out of five. So you can see this movie is not bad but it's not great. So looking here at some of the reviews on the uh, on the Rotten Tomatoes website here, you can see here that that this uh, tomato score right here, that means that it's fresh. But if you listen closely to this comment here, you can see that this easily could have been rotten. It says here is shaky and unfocused as Captain Marvel often seems. It manages to reach its destination with confidence. In the end, Larson sticks to the landing a bit with something more mute than absolute triumph. Wow. And that's from a top critic here. So, and this is a woman. She wasn't overly impressed with this movie. So I wonder if Brie Larson actually cares about the opinion of a white woman, you know, which is right here. Um, some people didn't like this movie at all. Um, this guy right here says, good thing it's still March. Captain Marvel would have a wheat start to the summer blockbuster season. Now that's really saying something here. I mean, summertime is usually when the big action movies usually hit the, um, the screen, you know, the big blockbusters of the year. And he says it would even make a dent in the summer, uh, season. <laughs> so that's not saying too much about this movie. Let's look at a few more of the other comments on here. This is another woman gave it a fresh score. Like I said, the fresh score doesn't take a lot to get a fresh rating, a plucky and pleasing, if predictable excursion that burns brightly, but briefly. <laughs> so she gave this movie a 2.5 out of four. Wow. The other person gave it a two out of four. So that's only like 50%, 55%, which to me just means it's okay. So, and that's coming from two women. I mean, the women have pretty much judged this movie kind of harshly. I'm, I believe if I actually saw the movie too, I would think it would be a good movie. Nothing special myself. So <laughs> now this is interesting right here from this guy. He says it's a woke as star Brie Larson's press push. Wow. So maybe some of the people, you know, that's been offended by, you know, what she said about about white men. And this is a white man right here. He gave her a a harsh criticism that the movie is woke. Now, all the reviews I've heard about this movie, I've heard that it's not woke. And for the most part, a lot of people haven't been too impressed with Brie Larson's performance in this movie as Captain Marvel. And I hear that the movie also gets off to a somewhat kind of a slow start and it pits up um, in the second and third act of the movie. 
So it says here, uh, Captain Marvel is not going to reinvent the wheel. It's not going to break new ground, but it does what it needs to do. So I'm trying to find somebody that has had it, that actually said this movie is absolutely great and really haven't seen or heard any reviews saying that this movie is that great. And if you look here on a Rotten Tomatoes score here, this movie actually started off with a 91 percent and it dropped down as of right now to an 83 percent. Now, I think the the top credit scores have really, you know, made this movie drop a lot. Now, if you look here, the average um, top credit score is 6.4, 6.14 out of 10. So like I said, a 60 percent is just enough to make it fresh. This movie is barely fresh with the top credits. Now, with all credits, it is seven out of 10. Seven out of 10 is a C, which means it's an OK movie. So this is kind of what I expected from the uh, the credits with this movie. I didn't think that it was going to be, you know, otherworldly and great or anything like that. I didn't expect it to be on Black Panther le level or Infinity War level. So the fans will have their say this weekend with this movie. If this movie, you know, gets, you know, just crushed by the fans, it could have a major impact on Avengers Infinity War. So I'm hoping that the fans do like it because I want in, I want Infinity War or I should say Avengers Endgame to be a bit success. And I think for that movie to have a super huge success, I think that Captain Marvel needs to tie in nicely to that movie. So that's the early reviews from the critics about Captain Marvel. Was it about what you expected? It was pretty much what I expected. So let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me and we will catch you on our next video. John Matrix out.